What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about Fear the Walking Dead and Dwightie Boy. So spoiler warning for Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, Dwightie Boy, all that stuff. If you're worried about spoilers, please stop watching now as I don't want to ruin anything for you. So Dwightie Boy is coming to Fear the Walking Dead and when are we going to see him? And the answer is episode 503. If you saw it yesterday on Friday, if you have AMC premiere, you saw Dwightie Boy. And I have not seen the episode but I've seen a lot of clips and parts and pictures and people telling me that the Whitey Boy is a big part of episode 503. And I'm excited because it's a connecting point that could make sense, could help improve the show of Fear the Walking Dead. But will it feel forced? Will it make sense? I don't know because I haven't seen it. And there's a lot of season left, even if the episode is good or bad or not. The rest of the season could make sense or not. But Morgan and Dwightie Boy are going to be reunited in episode 503, I believe. And I wonder what's going to happen for the rest of the season. Will Dwight find Sherry? That's the big question. I hope so, right? But it starts in episode 503. We're going to see Luciana and Alicia, John and June. And they're going to come across more walkers in the road. And who's putting them there? We'll find out that it may be a little more complicated than we think. We're going to see them come across many walkers in the road. And there's kind of a border area that someone's trying to keep people out and you can see that if you go to amc's youtube channel you can see the opening minutes and it's about four minutes long there's a lot to it but it's pretty gnarly these walkers they do a great job on the walking dead and fear the walking dead you have to give them credit for that but we're going to see the western vibe for sure and it's a showdown at the okay corral with John and June and the Whitey Boy, and it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a pretty cool sequence of events and action in episode 503. John and June look to be safe, but they're actually going to hurt the Whitey Boy. And I believe John shoots him in the shoulder on purpose because he could have taken him out, but John doesn't want to kill people. And June stitches the Whitey Boy up. They get some more guns in this Western Town Saloon stable thing. It's pretty cool. I'm excited to see how it goes down in episode 503. And I just love Alicia's face. She's like, what? You can't be serious, right? But what is Alicia and Morgan looking at? Is it Dwighty Boy? Who's responsible for the heads that are strung up in the trees and the red rover of walkers in the middle of the road? I can't wait to find out. And hopefully you've seen the video where I talk about Morgan's tattoo. Is it gone? Is it there? Is it a mistake? Was it done on purpose? Is it a lion? Is it this? There's a lot of big questions about it. And it's not the biggest deal by any means. And it's just a fun discussion point. But in that video, I talk about the barber chair that Daniel had in his warehouse. And people are like, well, Daniel was a barber. And I totally forgot that when I made the video. So thank you to all the people that reminded me that he was a barber. That was way back in season one and it hasn't come up since then. And it's really not big a deal because the show is so different from season one to season five now. But Daniel was a barber in season one of Fear the Walking Dead. He's got a complicated past and we found out about him, but I should have remembered that. But some people are like, no. Um, he was a barber. And some people were really rude about it, and some people were just telling me about it. And so thank you for the information. But Daniel Salazar is back, and it's pretty cool, but it's kind of forced as well. It's like if you just had this warehouse in Texas all along, why didn't you just come here? Why didn't you just go there from California to Texas? Be like, I got this place there, let's go there, right? But no. Fear the Walking Dead is all over the place. And I hope the Whitey Boy makes sense. I hope this story makes sense. So let's talk about it. We're going to see him in episode 503. And how did he get from Virginia to Texas? Well, he's been looking for Sherry, right? So the big part of season eight, the finale, was that Daryl kicked the Whitey Boy out and where's he going to go? And there's been some talk that Austin Emilio can't film with the Walking Dead for this or that. But I don't know what to believe. But either way, it's Fear the Walking Dead, the Whitey Boy time. He's done with The Walking Dead as of now, but he's getting notes and breadcrumbs from Sherry. So where is Sherry? Is she with a group? And I can understand why she's leaving notes for Dwighty Boy because she doesn't know what happened since she left. Negan could still be in charge and she doesn't know what's going on. But we're going to see this symbol, honeymoon forever, honeymoon forever. Go this way with the symbol, go that way, right? But is Sherry still alive? How old are these notes and how much time has passed since season eight? Not sure, 100%, but it's just going to hopefully make sense. And like I said, Sherry doesn't know what happened with Negan, the war, all that, because when she let Daryl out, she ran away. And where has she been? How did she get there? Did she leave with anybody else? And not to say it's wishful thinking that she could survive on her own, but it's a dangerous world out there, not just with walkers, but with people too. And if she's by herself, she could have came across the wrong people, or maybe she could be the leader of another group. But to ask someone to go from Virginia 
all the way to Texas in a zombie apocalypse by yourself is kind of crazy. It's a zombie fictional show, zombie apocalypse, dystopian universe, science fiction show. So anything can happen. But some stuff has to make sense. Like, I don't buy that or come on with that. And I wonder when, why, how they're going to meet. And is Sherry part of another group in Texas? But if they don't meet or find each other and they're both alive, that's very disappointing and pretty terrible. But I wonder if they're going to meet at the end of the season, right? That would be a good way to set up for season six. And what if Sherry is the problem? But the Whitey Boy could be a good connecting point with The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead if they ever want to do that again. But I think Fear and The Walking Dead are two different shows now. And Fear is the Morgan, Alicia, and Dwightie Boy show with John, June, and Strand, and the rest of them. But Dwight could be a good thing for the show, or it could be really dumb. Dwight's not the biggest character by any means, but I think a B-list or C-list Walking Dead character can really help Fear the Walking Dead. So when is it going to happen that we finally get to meet the Whitey Boy? Episode 503, and it sounds pretty cool, pretty interesting to see how it goes down, and hopefully it builds for the future, builds for the rest of the season. And the last point I want to make here is, if you read the comics, you know that Dwight, Rick, the Commonwealth have a huge, well, relatively huge, story arc. And I think that Fear is going to connect with the movies, the Rick Grimes movies, and what if it connects with the comic story arc of Dwight, Pamela Milton, and Rick? And I'm not saying it will happen, but it would be pretty awesome. So let me know your thoughts, post your comments below, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to become a valued member of our PT channel, Walking Dead Family. And remember, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself, you can do it. It's about love, support, staying positive, making memories, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yo, we love you guys. Honestly, thank you.